Hey everyone. So, um, I'm sick and my voice is shot. So I decided I would just kind of record something a bit chill today. And hopefully you like it. Ah, uh, this is about as loud as I can talk. And, yeah, this is about what it is right now. So, yeah, I just decided that it'd be nice to chill with my raptor and my goldfish and sit next to a fire in Grizzly Hills and listen to the sounds of the waterfall and fish for a little bit, you know? Talk about some stuff. Because I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I really want to be more positive. I realize that I'm a fairly negative and angry person, and I don't want to be that anymore, because it messes things up a lot. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. And I wanted to talk about something I wanted to focus on more. Specifically, I wanted to start focusing on doing a, uh, doing more to build up a community than I have been lately. And not just like a community of people for this channel or something. I mean a community of, like of other POC and queer and marginalized people who create stuff on the internet or not even directly on the internet who make, you know, physical pieces of art or media or anything. And I wanted to start building an actual community around that. Um, not 100% sure what I'm going to be able to do because I don't really have an audience or anything, but I want to try because there's not really many resources out there and I'm tired of waiting for somebody to build one, you know? So I started a thing on uh, Twitter and Tumblr called QueerTube and the scope of it was for, like, to build a directory of small and, um, like, small YouTube and Twitch channels, uh, more for, like, so that you could find people easier. So you search the Twitch tag, you find marginalized streamers, you search YouTube, you find people who do things on YouTube, like, and then it would have sub tags like makeup and everything else. But it doesn't quite work as well as I'd like it to, and it didn't really get that many submissions. Um, and I'd like to push that more and try to start building an actual, like, a tool for it. And that might mean starting a new website that hosts it, or learning a bit more and build something on Tumblr for it, or another service, because I still don't trust that Tumblr is going to be around within the next few years. Um, but I'd like to start doing something more, uh, for the, like, queer and marginalized community, you know? Um, it's still really hard to find, like, people who do things on YouTube who aren't, you know, a screaming white guy who turns out to be incredibly racist or something, it's... It's really hard to find people online who write or... Uh, it's a bit easier with AO3 and stuff, but it's still really hard to find queer writers who aren't just doing fanfiction. And there's nothing against fanfiction. I'd still like to highlight that as well. But people who do original work and people who do art and comics and podcasts and everything else. And I'd like to find a way to start highlighting that. Um, find a way to start building a community not just around this channel, but around helping each other find more 
people and more content to watch. Things that, you know, normally wouldn't be seen that we want to see. Like, there's always these posts that are, oh, I wish there was more pe more queer people who did X. And it's like, those people exist, but there's no way of finding them because the current platforms do nothing to surface them. They focus on the smaller the smaller or the focus on the massive accounts which are already massive and they keep them that way because it makes them money and I get it they're a business and capitalism is evil but they're also a business so that's what they do and so I guess the only thing that we can do is build something of our own but I'm not um, good at that, and I don't really have the audience, so the only thing I can do is hope that I get some help with it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, my fire went out. I'll have to put that down again in a second. But I, I want to start trying to be more positive and highlighting people and, and, their work and stuff like um, the next world building will be an interview with someone and I'm asking some of my friends right now who make things uh, if I can have them on it to talk to them about the things they make so I'm hoping that um, scheduling works out and I can have an episode out later this week maybe I'm not sure and I want to start doing a series where I just highlight queer made games even if they're from itch or something they don't have to be from steam um, just queer made games or POC made games or something that's something that's made by people that might not be seen by a lot you know um caught a fish um and I want to highlight more than just games I want to start showing off more things on this channel I want to show off music I want to show off art and everything else and try to promote other people as much as I can even with the limited reach I have because no one else is going to just do the thing you want to see and you have to do it yourself like that's the thing that is always said you know if you want something done do it yourself be the change you want to see whatever the old adages are well it's kind of true we're not gonna have people at google who make an initiative to highlight queer or poc creators to tens of millions of people they're going to push PewDiePie and Markiplier and all them because they're the people who draw in money already and until other voices are start start to be heard there's no way that society will start taking those other voices as seriously or as as easily as people like them um, it's the same thing with Twitch and everything else, you know, you, you see certain creators who, like, I, I don't even, I don't watch many streams and most of the time it's only my friends, but there are people on there who, you know, what was the guy who came back after he got banned and then th there was some drama, I was listening to it on Waypoint at work last night, but I don't remember names because they weren't people I'm familiar with. Um, but he came back and, you know, he had a, like, he holds the record for people coming to his streams after he got banned for being, like, incredibly terrible in, like, a terrible person in League of Legends or something. And then he got banned from Twitch or something like that. And then when he came back after they unbanned him, he broke the record for most concurrent viewers on a stream, so of course Twitch isn't going to ever permanently get rid of someone like him. But you see that kind of stuff happen, and it's... I don't know. It's like, they're never going to get rid of somebody like that, and they're never going to push people like us up as 
as louder voices, so we have to build something to amplify ourselves. So that's what I'm going to start working on. And, I mean, that's not going to take away from anything I already do, because it's part of it, but... Yeah, that's kind of what I'll be putting a lot of energy towards going forward. Um... Yeah. That's about it. I don't know. Um... I figured this would be a good enough place to... I didn't realize they added the new bear model to the bears here. Huh. Um... I figured this would be a nice place to kind of just sit and talk and chill with some audio in the background and stuff with the leaves and river and wind and everything in the background and the music in Grizzly Hills is still nice enough to bring me to tears. Um, down in the description here I'm going to list some people I really really like uh, and I'll I'm gonna contact some people and see if I can start doing some stuff to show off their work so yeah, that's about all. I'll try to have this up later today and get tomorrow's Factorio recorded. My voice is going to be like this and that as well, so... Uh, hopefully it doesn't sound terrible. Uh, anyway, I will see you later. Have a nice night, everyone. Bye.